YouTube viewers, my name is Brandon and this is Toronto Watch Shop. This video is going to be a toolbox tour, so basically I'm going to be walking you through what's in each drawer of my box. So, let's get started. Alright, so first thing we got to talk about is the box itself. The box is a Mastercraft Maximum box, that's Canadian Tires Mechanic Series tools. This box is 47 inches wide. It was, I got it on sale. It's regular two grand on four one, so I got both pieces. And it's full of ready. So let's start with the bottom drawers and work our way up. All right, so drawer number one. This here is where I keep my electric, like plug-in tools, which is my heat gun, my plug-in impact gun, angle grinder. I also have my respirator in here with both uh, particle and vapor cartridges if I do any body work. And then in the bottom is just all the accessories for everything there. I also have a, my own extension cord and normally my spotlights in there. But right now that's mounted to the wall for when I do my easy maintenance series videos. Next up is my air tool drawer. First thing, obviously, air blow gun. All the accessories are there on the left. I got my air ratchet, straight die grinder, 90 degree die grinder, air drill, air chisel or air hammer, and then the gun. Most of it is Mastercraft because it was a set, it was on sale. These two are Ingersoll Rand. Once I find work, what I'm going to do is invest the money and get a proper impact gun, but that'll happen when it happens. Next up, this is just the basic drawer, it's half empty. This is my tap and die set. I don't really want to open it, but that's a tap and die set. If you don't know what it is, just Google it. It's made for uh, threading holes. Next up, in this drawer, first thing, are my torque sticks. If you don't know what these are, they're basically uh, extensions that are rated at certain torques, well, torque numbers. At, what it, at the specified torque, the bar starts to twist so that the bolt doesn't get torqued more than it's supposed to. The ratings are on there. They're very useful. If you don't have them, I suggest you get them because they're very useful. Other than that, in this drawer, it's my Werner caliper for measuring, digital, because I'm too lazy to get them to read the regular one. Zero inch to one inch micrometer, and one inch to two inch micrometer. Those are very useful, so I suggest you get them. Next up, it's kind of just my drawer of whatever. In this drawer I have my magnet, oil filter wrenches, different scissors, Allen key sets, metric and imperial, and Torx key sets. Got a razor blade, writing utensils, punch, feeler gauge, tire depth gauge, thread locker, tape measure, some extendable magnet, uh, Schrader valve remover for the valve stems and the tires, and that's pretty much it for there. All right, back down to the bottom. This is another drawer of whatever. Got paper towels, cloths, a brush to clean up my area, tape, zip ties, NICs, rope, tape, wheel chocks. Normally my WD-40 is in there, along with my brake cleaner, but that's on the shelf you'll see later in the video. And gloves, of course, are in here too. Huh? All right, like I said, drawer of whatever. This is kind of like just a drawer to put stuff that doesn't fit anywhere else. Next one up is my hammer drawer. Got my five ball peen hammers, rubber mallet, two regular claw hammers, and three dead blow hammers. They all have their uses. I like them. Next up is kind of a drawer of lots. Let me bring you guys a little closer. There we go. All right, so let's start from over here. Got my flared nut wrenches for doing brake work. I have a compression tester and vacuum tester, piston ring compressor, uh, Christmas tree bits, or step drill bits, whatever you want to call them. Here I have picks, gasket scraper, and punches and chisels. I have my spark plug sockets, 
and a 3 8 flex ratchet for spark plugs. Use it for other things too, but it's just with spark plugs because that's what it came with. Uh, paint pen in there just to mark whenever I need to mark something. Bolt extractors or screw extractors if they get stuck or broken in. Got a pulley puller to remove pulleys. Got a valve spring compressor. This is a cheap little one. Next time I do any engine work, I'm going to end up picking up one of the bigger ones. But for now, that's good. Piston ring expander to, remo to remove them. And lots of snap ring pliers. And next is my drill bits. I have cutoff discs, grinding discs, telescoping T, or sorry, these are hole gauges. I use these mainly for measuring uh, valve guide clearance. And then there's also what I was saying before, just the telescoping T gauges for doing piston bore or cylinder bore. Alright, so this drawer here, I'm going to do it in two halves. I'll tell you about this half, and then I'll move the camera to the other side and tell you about the other half. So let's get started. This is my metric side. So I have quarter inch, three eighths, and half inch drive sockets, shallow and deep. Uh, three eighths torque wrench, half inch breaker bar, three eighths drive speed handle. And then here is the half inch ratchet with extensions quarter inch ratchet with extensions, three eighths ratchet with extensions, flex, half inch, three eighths, quarter, screwdriver bits, nut driver bits, these are good for taking off license plates and that kind of thing, I like those. Here's my half inch Sorry, one moment. There we go. Half inch torque wrench. Half inch, three eighths, quarter inch, Imperial, or SAE, whatever you want, however you want to put it. Uh, sockets, shallow and deep. Then there's also some impact bits down here. Some hex bits. Now they're pretty much all hex bits and torx bits. I have 12 point sockets here non-impact torx bits, non-impact hex bits. I'm not sure what these are called. They just say E on them. Or if you look closely at them, they're like kind of starish. Uh, the seat rails on my Yaris are held on by this type of screw. Never used them before other than that, but now I do use them. All right, and that's it for this top drawer. This thing here looks like a drawer, but it's not. It's a work surface. This thing holds, I think, 100 pounds, it says. Yeah, right there, 100 pounds. So this is good for just rebuilding alternators or starters or whatever you want to do. If you want to work close to your tools. All right, guys, I'm just warning you, the rest of the video is going to be a little bit shakier. Basically, the tripod's not tall enough to see the top half of the box, so I have to hold the camera by hand. All right, so let's get started on the top. This here is my Imperial wrenches. Yes, I do realize that this one is black and that's supposed to be for the metric. I'll switch those over later. But those are the straight ones, stubbies, S-shaped combination wrenches, and these C-shaped combination wrenches. I don't use the C-shape and S-shape that often, but when I do need them, they'll be useful. Good for getting around things. All right, now. Instead of going up, I'm going to go sideways. These are my metric wrenches. Just let it focus. Yeah, there you go. Like I said before, straight, stubby, C shape, and S shape. Next one up. Pliers. There's ten, three sets of 10 snips, long reach, cutting pliers. A little uh, wrench here, some small wrenches, a set of big wrenches and pliers, I mean, cutters, needle nose, slip joint, 
China locks, whatever you want to call them. Just a wide variety of pliers and wrenches. And then jump over to this side. And there's more pliers and wrenches. So some slip joint and China lock pliers. Needle nose, 90, 45, and straight, long reach. Those are very useful. Some vice grips. Vice grip C pliers. Smaller vice grips. These are some Mastercraft style vice grip pliers. They're somewhat useful. All right, next one up. It's kind of another drawer of everything. Back here, you can see these yellow things. Those are panel removal tools. If you watched my uh, vinyling, well, vinyl wrapping video, you'll see those. Those are used to take off interior panels without scratching them. These syringes I use for uh, removing, well, brake fluid, or power steering fluid. That way, it's easier to take it out of the reservoir. Some. These are smoked safety glasses. Amber colored safety glasses with a black light flashlight for air conditioning uh, leak detection. There's two knives in here, utility knives. A big one and a small one, two types of blades. Under here, some needle files. Some small screwdrivers, nut drivers. These are the Imperial nut drivers, metric nut drivers, and antifreeze hydrometer. In here, it's my screwdriver drawer. Flat blade screwdrivers, Phillips screwdrivers, ratcheting screwdriver. I use this to remove those plastic clips on the bottom of bumpers that hold the panels together. Small jeweler screwdriver set, some Robertson screwdrivers, and a little pry bar. Top drawer on this side is my brake product, my brake tool drawer. I've got a metric bubble flare kit. Double flare kit. This is, this is the tool kit to disassemble disc brakes. Just different pieces to take the disc brakes apart. Here's the adjusting spoons. A caliper piston tool to screw the piston back in because some of them are not just pushing, you gotta screw them back in. There's some bending springs and an actual tube bender for when I'm doing uh, flaring, I could actually bend the tubing. In here, that's more uh, brake tool, brake silicone lubricant, any squeal, and obviously a cutter to cut the tubing. All right, last drawer. This is my uh, electrical drawer. Got some terminals and a crimping tool, soldering iron, solders inside. Can put that in here after. Desoldering pump. These are. Uh, for stripping the wire. This is before I got my actual stripping tool, I used to use this. Test light, crappy multimeter. I gotta get a better one when I start working. Heat shrink tubing. Now the top piece. Up here. Let's start over here. Here, just a little uh, light. There's actually an extension or a power bar built into the box that runs behind. So all these chargers get plugged in there. So yeah, light, 18 volt batteries for my 18 volt impact gun, cordless, cordless drill. Then I got it, this is 12 volt drill and impact driver. And then I have this little five volt or 4.6 volt screw gun. I use that for uh, taking license plates off, but it's useful. And then kind of hidden in the back there are my pry bars. Alright guys, so that's the box. So now I'm just going to quickly show you guys around the garage because obviously the tools aren't everything that I use. I have things elsewhere, so let's just take a look at the garage. All right, over here, as you can see, I have my uh, low profile jack, axle stands, vacuum, some parts over there, sound system parts and exhaust parts that'll go on, I'm not sure which car. Up there on the top in the blue container is some vinyl. On the wall there, some tape and rope, garbage bags, that kind of stuff. 
down there is my garbage and recycling. The black one is the recycling. All right, and over here on my shelves next to my box is more stuff that I use. Up top there, zip ties, WD-40, brake parts cleaner, air tool oil, some more disc brake quiet or anti squeal, ruler, some catch cans or catch pans to use to catch uh, fluids when I'm doing, well, anything really, whether it's coolant or oil or transmission fluid, just separate uh, catch trays. Let me just move you guys up a little bit. There we go. Up here, gloves, lots and lots of wire. When I had my Honda Prelude in it, well, basically it was so rusted that the mechanics wouldn't touch it. So instead of selling it for cheap, I parted it out and made back my money. So I pulled out all the wiring from basically the driver door back and wound it all up. So that's there in case I need wiring. Welding helmet for when I do any fabrication or welding. All right, next shelf. Sorry, the lights kind of in your face. Over there on the side, there's some plastic dip and some engine enamel that I'm going to be using to do some stuff on the Yaris. Those videos will be up whenever they're done. Scoot down a little bit. There's some uh, detail stuff. Lint roller, cloths, buffing pads, more cloths. That's a sander for when I do some body work. Some old used grinding and cutting discs. Those are just there if I need them as spares. Let's get you down a tiny bit more. There's all my detail supplies. There's window cleaner, fabric cleaner, armor all wipes, wax, wheel cleaner, tire shine, carpet cleaner, lots of stuff. If you know me, you knew I, I used to be a detailer. So I still have all my stuff left over. All right, and the last shelf is kind of my shelf of just leftover parts from little tiny mods I've done. Down there, some gauge pods and split loom cover, hose clamps and uh, shift knobs, some iPad chargers and extension cords because I was planning on putting a uh, hard wiring a charger for my iPad and iPhone into the RX-7 when I had it, but that kind of didn't happen. Middle one has tape and light bars and Ziploc baggies. Top one is just usually empty, but now there's just some stuff there. Up top there is kind of just storage. There's just bins and uh, spare tools up there. Because once I start work or start my apprenticeship, this toolbox down here is gonna end up going to that shop. And whatever tools I have up there, which is a backup wrench set, socket set, screwdrivers, a couple of air tools, that kind of stuff. That'll all get put into a smaller box for here. All right, thanks for watching, guys. If you keep cut this far, you saw my garage and my tools. If you have any questions or if you want any recommendations or if you have recommendations for me for tools I don't have that are really useful, leave them in the comment section below. Like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.